What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you the team that I'm going to be using for the Foot Champions Weekend League. This is the team that I qualified with. I did it when there were no requirements. Of course, some of the daily tournaments do have requirements, but this one was basically a free-for-all. You can build what you want. So, this squad is roughly around 2 million coins at the time of recording. It will go down in price as FIFA progresses, but it's very expensive at the present time. So... David De Gea in goal, picked him up for 125,000. I might actually check some of these players, what they go for now. Yeah, he seems to be slightly more. Yeah, maybe 130, something around that mark. The two centre-backs we're going to go with are not, not Matthew. We're going to go with Boateng. And then we'll switch it over. He's right on the end there with 81 pace. It's going to be Eric Bailly. Now, currently on FIFA, I've used some incredible cards. But I've got to say, my favourite so far is Eric Bailly. I've played 50 games with him and this guy is just everywhere in defence. I, I just don't get it. Like, legit, I've used Boateng. I mean, I haven't used Ramos yet, but I've used a few others. And uh, Boateng is still very solid in this team. But I, I don't know. I just, Bailly, I've used him in so many different uh, squads and he's absolutely terrific. But anyway, Kyle Walker... First owner, he's about 20, 25k. I bought Boateng for 180. And I think because bai has got a want to watch card, he's about 40k, give or take, maybe 35, 40k. I bought him ages ago for 23. Then we go with the left back, and that's going to be David Alaba, who is about 100k, I think. Picked him up for 105. Um, I'll go through the team more in depth uh, in the highlights. But the three midfielders we're going to go with, we're going to go with uh, Arturo Vidal. Paul Pogba's in form, and Yaya Toure. Yaya Toure was 40k, what is he now? I think he's a little bit more now, I think he's 60. Yeah, well, 50, 60k for Yaya Toure. Achuro Vidal, I bought him yesterday, so yeah, 127k for him. And Paul Pogba, I'm going to make some profit on him. 705,000, what does he go for now? Well, the cheapest on the market is 800, but... um. You know, it looks as though once that eventually goes, he might even go a bit higher. I'm hoping he goes to 900 a million, and then I'll eventually sell him. This player, however, is a free player. Well, of course, you've got to do a lot of score building challenges to get him. Well, three, but uh, it's Raheem Sterling's purple card. Uh, a, a terrific player. As, I, as I'll go through the team, as I say, um, when the like when the highlights are going on. Anyway, Frank Ribery on left wing now. Doing this means Paul Pogba only gets 8 chemistry, which I really don't care about. If you do want to follow this team, if you've got enough coins, later down the line, get Anthony Martial. It will mean that Pogba gets uh, the chemistry. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really do like Martial on this game as well. But just for the sake of this, I thought I'd try Ribéry, and he's an exceptional player. I tried Kingsley Coleman at front uh, at first. But I prefer Ribéry, like his 90 dribbling is a, a good reason for that. And then the striker up front, Sergio Aguero, 420k for him. So that is my team. As I say, if you want to give Pogba full chem, just put Anthony Martial on left wing. It's not really that much of a hybrid. Well, it's two league, it's Bayern Munich and uh, pretty much Manchester City and Manchester United by uh, Kyle Walker. But anyway, that's the team. So let's get into the highlights. Obviously, for the coins I've spent on this team, you would kind of expect it to be incredible. And that's what it is. Sometimes, though, it does feel a little bit iffy. I'm not sure if that's just because I haven't worked out the mechanics. Like, there'll be three or four games in a row, it obliterates teams. And then there'll be one, probably because the opponent's exceptionally good, where it'll struggle. But I'm not going to blame that on the team too much. That's probably just the way I play. But, um, yeah, it... <laughs> It is incredible. For 1.7 million, you would expect that, but there's no weak links. Like, that's what I love about the team. I love strong midfielders in FIFA 17. Ones that have a good engine, can run for a while, and have decent passing as well. That's also important. But I like tall midfielders who can knock down, you know, the, the balls that are floated into the midfield, and they can just initiate attacks from that. And having Achuro Vidal, who I think is just under six foot, so he, he doesn't really meet the specifications, but he's a fantastic all-around midfielder anyhow. Paul Pogba, who is over six foot, and Yaya Toure, it's just a really, really strong midfield. It's got a mix of everything. They can all shoot, they can all defend, they're all strong, and um, 
He obviously Pogba has five star skills so putting him central allows him to drift forward a little bit more enabling him to link up with players like Ribéry and Sterling who are exactly what you want on the wings uh, very pacey they've got decent uh, crossing the reason I chose Ribéry as I say instead of Coleman is because I like his dribbling like there's a goal where he just script, uh, skips past players uh, also obviously the skill moves for Ribéry is another uh, reason to choose him Aguero now Aguero was the most consistent player in this team for the first like five, six games. Literally, he scored a hat-trick, then nothing, hat-trick, nothing, hat-trick. And then afterwards he scored the odd goal here and there. But yeah, it, it, it was just weird. Like he'd either be amazing or he'd be really, really quiet. And uh, he is an exceptional striker on this game. Like don't, don't uh, think that he's not. Like he really is fantastic. He finishes most chances off. But yeah, it was just weird. Like literally, I think it was five games. Hat trick, no goals. Hat trick, no goals. Hat trick. And as I said in the intro, Eric Bay, he, he's just exceptional. If you've got the coins, he's worth that. I know he's only 82 rated, so he will drop in price eventually. But he definitely is worth it. I loved Alaba, uh, Boateng, De Gea, and Walker as well. It, it's just a really, really ridiculous team. So uh, yeah. This is what I will be playing foot champions with, so hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and yeah, peace.